With efforts to draw new attention to an old issue, immigration reform. This weekend, a group of North Bay immigrants and their allies have started out on a three-day march to San Francisco, and John Ramos has their story. Many of these people faced a long, arduous journey just to get to the United States, and now they're saying it's been an even longer journey to win the right to stay here. In the late 1920s, the tired, poor, huddled masses of immigrants began arriving from Europe, fulfilling the promise inscribed on the Statue of Liberty. Those who lived here for seven years became eligible to stay permanently. But in the 1980s, that door was slammed shut. If we don't do something, no one's going to do it for us. If we need to walk three days for these Congress people to wake up, that's what we're going to do. The march began Saturday in Petaluma in Sonoma County, and it won't end until they reach downtown San Francisco. About 100 people will take part in the 40-mile-long hike, and if the protest doesn't wake people up, the music might. Is it difficult walking this much? Um, with the music following us, no. I like it. Our legs are kind of tired, but it's all right. It feels like you're part of a movement, at which you are. And yeah, it's super fun. But the cause couldn't be more serious. The protesters want Congress to pass H.R. 1511, known as the Registry Bill. The Registry Bill, all it says is that if undocumented, an undocumented person has lived in the U.S. for at least seven years continuously, they may apply for legal permanent residency. It's basically the same deal offered the Europeans with an assurance that the applicants stay out of legal trouble while living here. Many have lived here for decades, and Dr. Chris Barker says he gained a lot of respect for them after working in an immigrant health clinic. And uh, I saw how hardworking the people were that, you know, that came into the office. You know, they, they didn't need a week off work. They needed me to get them better tomorrow so they could work the next day. He says, to him, the registry bill sounds like a good deal for the country. Instead of standing in line seven years ago, they've worked for seven years and then getting in line. And you know, I think it's okay. After a brief break to eat, drink, and get out of the hot sun, the marchers continued on. And though the feet are getting pretty sore, Joseph Cervantes, who was born in the U.S., says he's walking for those who came before him. I mean, it's hard, but I mean, I have a motivation, you know, and I'm determined and focused. So, I mean, it's, it's all worth it, you know. There are marches for immigration reform going on all over the country this week, but this is thought to be the longest. The immigrants in the North Bay and their allies want to prove that they have the commitment to continue the march to reform, no matter how far it takes them. The marchers will stay overnight at a camp in Mill Valley. Then it's on to the Golden Gate Bridge, where they will meet up with more protesters. The final leg will be to walk to the federal building near San Francisco's Civic Center. Now a live look over the Diablo Valley, which was one of the hot spots.